Hey guys, what's going on? Chris here with Shagged Gaming. We are doing something very special today. We are in the PS VR chat show, and uh, today we've got the developer from Pixel Ripped, uh, Anna Ribeiro, I believe is her name. And here's the opening. This is made by uh, Eliminator Jason and uh, and Jimith, and also Seraphim One Nine Zero. They did a lot of amazing work on this. Crazy. We're doing the quick tour here, guys. Welcome to Pixel Ripped. I'm so happy to be here. Welcome to this world. This was all created by the community from Rec Room. Thank you so much for PSVR chat show. And I hope you guys enjoy this crazy world. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool, Anna. All right, see? I'll take you guys through the tour. Very cool, the cartridges. And uh, I got to get an invite, so we'll do that now. Hopefully that takes us to the right spot. There's multiple rooms to get to the uh, stage, if you will, aka classroom. Yeah, see this there's so many people, there. I can't move. Look at this. <laughs> well, I guess we bypassed that one. Crazy. Yes. This is fantastic. I've no idea. Insane. Like, oh, man. All right. And he's gonna get her outfit on. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, it's dot. It's did, dot. You have, did you have anybody else that you needed to get in before we oh, start? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, the CEO, uh, so Ricardo is the CEO of Arvory. He wants to join too. Uh, I'm just trying to see if he's coming or not. If I uh, have to add okay. him as a friend. Um, yeah, no worries. Well, we can wait. Okay. How do we cyber, the cyber mob is here. here as well. I don't think you made it. Friends. Made it. Oh, yeah, man, she's she dressed as Dot. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can buy my own. Yeah, that's cool. Right so much. Cool. cool. That's what I wanted. It's awesome. Yes. That, now we can play with you. Just turn name. We got Brian from PSVR. The parole. We've got Seraphim. We've got the preacher plays. We've got Ryan from the VR grid. We've got Danish gaming. We've got Juice Five. We've got God Cannon. We've got Gamer Tag. Gamer Tag VR. And we are missing. We're hiding over there. Is Jason the Eliminator? So we have the gang here. He's installing. Yeah, he's a. And of course that is our guest installing right now. So we can. He can start and then he join yeah, afterwards. Yeah, if yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, I can give it. I can give your, your uh, to you. Uh, the, uh, so if you guys just tune in, uh, basically the way Can I message you their tag, the their house. usernames, and then and, uh, when I'm here, here in a second, we're going through a bunch of questions. I mean, they can join afterwards, and then you can. Have already been submitted. I'm gonna yeah, send definitely. you on on uh, Steam. No. I mean, on Discord. So. And then we'll probably get some okay. free talks. So I'll get back here, and I'll get them in. I'll add them on here, and then oh, they'll have a friend there. request yeah. waiting for me. It went over there. Okay. How do I mute all of you? It, it will come back in a yeah, second. You can, you can have this. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Oh, wow. Zipper guy. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Is everyone feeling that they're dead? That was yours. You played the game. I'm ready to you end up with a cheap edition, the cheap edition Wait, of the game kid. You play a vision yeah, online? Cool. This is uh, the, not this online is yet. No. Yeah, one. Yeah, just just right. single player. Oh, I play like three player, uh, three hours single player. I still player. play creepy stalker. Are oh, you digging it? I don't think we're going to talk about that. We're streaming, aren't we? We're streaming right now. We definitely will, right? For sure. When are you going to beat the room? Or when are you going to beat the door? <laughs> so good. What was that? You gotta, be, you gotta beat the door soon, man. Amazing, uh, an amazing. We're gonna talk about the ending of the oh, door. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. I was gonna mm -hmm. do it today, and then I ended up playing Astrobot yeah. and Catch and Release. No, Ryan, yeah, you need to, happens. Ryan, you need to do an entire yeah, playthrough of the door so that I can <laughs> watch it and then beat it. Because I don't want, I, so I do oh, not want to struggle. I will tell you how to beat the door. I did it. If you got it figured. I did it all on my own. What's the playtime on that? You get about, <laughs> about, about you like five hours game. if you blast through it, but oh, like one of the puzzles took me like a solid hour on it. Do you like that? I made that. Excellent stuff. Um, is that like Brian, first or wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, space space invaders. That's good. He's not coming. Oh, I want one of these knockoff gear kits. Oh, uh, don't you touch my gear? Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty impressed with how many uh, YouTubers are right now <laughs> in one room. That's cool. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's sick, dude. It's so cool. Salsa, here's salsa. 
So let me know so when you're I ready, So I think we Anna. should... Uh, yeah, I'm ready. I, I just uh, I send the... So, yeah, Hikard is, like, installing Rec Room now, so it's gonna... I don't know how long it's gonna take. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, if he can join us, yeah, yeah, yeah. he can join us Salsa, afterwards. How's it going, man? Salsa. Oh, okay. Hey, how you doing, Jimmy? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'll Salsa. see you soon. Take a seat, there. or you can stand. What's up, good <laughs> cannon? <laughs> Is this gonna be? Oh, well, you know, you know. Seat down the front, <laughs> back here. There's a book. <laughs> I can. Is, is the book any good? Is the book any good? <laughs> can I just the back, the teacher? Have you switched? Would you mind if you switch? I can kind of go forward. Wherever you want me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. Oh, I've got, uh, top, top sorry, right. I've got a game there. Yeah. You're in your priority seating, sir. You get priority <laughs> seating. You're a royalty man. Let's play multiplayer, Salsa. Wait, 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 I don't want to move. I like my seat. Okay, well, let's play. Okay, I just wanted to give you a message. Let's play, dude. Let's play. Did you just get pushed off? No, you're not. You just think you are. Brian, were you that kid that sat at the back of the room? That's all right. They sat hey, me next. I, I, I always sat at the back of the room. Yeah, I had a feeling. Over here, we can battle. I'm just gonna steal everyone's seat, man. I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna keep running around, taking other people's seats. You are that kid. That's all right. You're good. I just turned around the game and got my coffee. I'm not gonna find this. Oh, okay. so oh, yeah. tiny like, I'm getting those right now. I have the names. <laughs> I, I think I'm just gonna pass your your contact to them, Jason, and then they, they add you when they manage to have their accounts. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. We are properly caffeinated. I turned down the voice fall off okay. so that people can actually talk. Well, what's up, man? I talk over top everyone. Oh, thanks. That's awesome. Ah, uh, kill it, tricks. Oh, sure, man. We will. We will. This will be. This is very cool. Firewall tonight, though. Firewall? So, Anybody? Yeah, we'll get that done. No, he had a good point. Preach, preach is such a schoolyard boy. I could see that. <laughs> and Ryan did not learn how to share because I went to try to take his game kid and he got all like, no. <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> I don't know, you, you haven't been the last couple days. I was desperate for a game last night and no you, no minus. Devastated. Well, what would be honest, I swear down that so if you So when you want to actually start just change the voice fall off. You know how to do that, right? Oh sorry, uh, there you go. Push the truck to the <laughs> Alright. Alright, enough of that detention yeah. in the corner. I, I, I in <laughs> the corner. <laughs> you and me, you and me, Creed, right now. Come yeah, on, just, come on. It's not the same. It's not the same. <laughs> not the same. There's, there's no impact. Oh, it feels just like Creed multiplayer. You mean? <laughs> Zero one hundred. Okay. If you go too high, you can't get positional audio. And everyone's too loud. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, Ooh, I want a present. No. Um, yeah, hi, Seven Bob Pizza. We're, uh, we're good to go. <laughs> yeah, man. Can't study on an empty stomach. As uh, Minus would say, disloyal. You guys buying pizza? <laughs> disloyal. Disloyal. <laughs> <laughs> Bring some beer into class. That seems inappropriate. <laughs> I feel like That's we should. Kind of party when you're drinking in my middle name. I don't even know how to do. I don't even know how to do these things. Cool man. Just want to say thank you for coming, everyone. Welcome to the uh, the PSVR chat show. Today uh, we have got Anna Ribeiro from Pixel Ripped. She's going to be the teacher for today's lesson. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> what a crazy lesson is going to be this, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you for coming, Anna. Yes. Thank you guys for doing all this. This is incredible. I'm oh, mind blowing. I didn't expect all this hard work, and we c you guys created another pixel rip. It's a lot of work. Uh, I'm I'm thankful. I'm 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 really like impressed, and I I feel like honored to be here. <laughs> what well, is an amazing uh, yeah, game? Yeah, thank you and, so uh, much. 
he's, he's well deserved all this attention. You know? Phenomenal. It's a great game. So I supposed to do a lesson here? Like... <laughs> <laughs> I you know, know everyone has uh, every one of your Game Boys in the desk, please. No. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ryan. I love this. Yeah. 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 I love this. Yeah. Can't can't forget a donut for the teacher here. Oh, you ass oh, kisser. Yes. Yeah. I'll give you. I'll give you five five stars. Five stars. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent stuff. So Anna, you are you're a, you're an eighties kid, I believe. <laughs> oh nice. <laughs> I'm telling on you. Who got paid the aeroplanes, dude? Nice catch, dude. That's crazy. Nice catch. You know what's weird is that we're in Pixar Rift with the Pixar Rift character ah. in real life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. So Anna, you ready? Yes, uh, 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 what are we going to do? <laughs> so I'm ready, ready. I'm ready. <laughs> it just, just snorges. Oh, cool, man. So, Anna. Snorgy. You, you you, <laughs> Sorry. You're an 80s baby, yeah? Worry? Sorry? I'm you're what? From, can you hear me? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so uh, you're from the 80s, yeah? So, for me personally, uh, those years in terms of gaming were pretty unforgettable. So, what was your sure. first console you ever owned? Oh my god, yeah, so, probably, no, who, who knows, who is that, what is the Odyssey? Did anyone hear oh, about this console? Odyssey is, yeah. <laughs> the Odyssey, Jimmy, yeah. the Odyssey. I know what that is. Which, oh my Odyssey. god, oh, that, wow. was the, that was the first console, we had the Odyssey 2, actually, but the Odyssey 1 was the first video game home console, so, our first yeah, console wow. at home was the Odyssey 2, which is kind of like Atari era. And we also had a console that uh, kind of at the same time, I don't know which one came first, but we had this console called Telejogo in Brazil, which was like a oh. Pong, one of those yeah. Pong consoles. Was that yeah. I, had that, yeah. I had that as well. Would that that be... was my first console. Was that Coleco? Did it, the, uh, did it have the twirly knobs on it? So like, you got the, the yeah. ping pong, the squares. Is that the one? Yeah, it's basically yeah, no, just Pong. That's the one. That's yeah. one. There, oh, there was that. a lot of uh, Pong consoles around the world, so that was yeah. one of it. It was called Telejogo in Brazil. Yeah, I'm from the 80s, so that's like a long time, long time ago. <laughs> I did 83, I born, so. So what was your favorite console at that time? Uh, because obviously when you play Pixel Ripped, there's a lot of retro games, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, that influenced it. So what was your, what was your uh, favorite console? So in Brazil, well, we have this console called Phantom System. It was like the best console. It just was released in Brazil, and you could basically play Nintendo games, but you use a, like a, a Sega Mag Sega Genesis controllers, oh, and that was awesome. So I grew up. I grew up telling everyone, "My God, my favorite console is Phantom System." I didn't have any doubt. Like this is my favorite console, the best games. <laughs> and then later, when I grew up, I discovered oh, actually I was playing Nintendo games. Uh, Sega games all together in one. Oh, wow. Okay. Wicked. So all that conflict that everyone had, that Nintendo, what is best, you know? <laughs> Sega and Nintendo, we just front of system, like, winner. Right there. <laughs> so. oh, yeah. But this is before Nintendo came to Brazil. So this is before, actually, Nintendo wasn't there. So it wasn't like, it, it wasn't illegal at the time for some reason. So this company actually... Well, it might have been. <laughs> it is and this really company good. released it. It was legit. You go going to stores and buy the console. It was a legit console. Yeah. That's cool. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, that That's is. So, cool. so um, your, what, what's your favorite video game? Aye, that's so hard. Mega okay. Man, that was hard. I wasn't gonna ask it. I've got to ask it. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's so lame. Come on, picture work. <laughs> if I answer that, this is so lame. It's my game. <laughs> no, no. Oh, what's your favorite game from the uh, 80s then? Your favorite 80s okay, so, game from uh, when you were younger? The one that I feel the most nostalgic, I had the most nostalgic feeling when I played is Mega Man 2. I know. I've, I've been playing the other Mega Man. I, I still, I think Mega Man Ten may be the best one in gameplay. But I really love Mega Man Two because it brings me those memories, and uh, it it was the first good Mega Man I remember. And uh, yeah, it's. But if I'm talking about like, okay, my favorite right now, um, 
first person shooter game. I love like multiplayer games online, so I love Left 4 yeah, Dead same. still. I really nice. I love playing Left 4 nice. Dead with my friends too, too nowadays. And oh, I was what playing. A great yeah, 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 yeah. I, on VR, I'm still playing a lot of Beat Saber. Um, <laughs> but, oh, we're waiting for oh, we Beat Saber. We're getting yeah. it soon. This whole room's like. Oh, but I have been playing a lot of uh, yeah. a lot of old school games. Like I bought, I just bought a Nintendo Classic. Uh, I managed to find here in America last time. Yeah. I was here. It was impossible. You, Is that the you NES, have to buy them. Mini? Yeah, the NES Classic. So I got that one. I got the Sega, uh, the Sega Genesis Classic too, and I have the Super Nintendo Classic too. So I have been playing. Oh, I just finished like good. Super Mario World, and I have oh, been playing. I know, I know. I've just <laughs> Donkey Kong too. <laughs> you call the Super Nintendo? Do you, do you call it a SNES? Uh, we call it Super Nintendo. Yeah. In Brazil, we call it Super Nintendo. SNES. Oh, good oh, cannon! Snares, snares. <laughs> I heard you say, I heard you say NES, and I was like, I yep, no, 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 I got right. excited! <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's so long to us! We'll see okay, it's okay. so long to us! Super yeah, man. Yeah, the Japanese one. So, cool. I'm going to take you back a little bit, Anna. So, your, your sort of story into becoming a game developer is quite interesting. So before Pixel Ripped, you were working for the government and you were involved in divorces. And then after that, you decided to start your own business, <laughs> selling pies. Yeah. <laughs> it was actually, I was, <laughs> yeah, I, I actually was I still working in the Justice Council when Good I started point. selling the pies. It wasn't like plan ahead. It was just, I think I was trying to escape because that was a lot of bureaucratic work. I was just basically in the desk typing documents and you had these templates that you just fill in the gaps with the number of documents, the name of people. And it was so boring for me. Like, I like creating things. Uh, so I, I, used, I, used, I, used, I would expend my time like uh, changing the stickers on the box of the documents. That was when I used to have most fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was horrible. The documents itself, you couldn't change the font. So it has to be, it was Times New Roman at the time. And that, for me, that was so frustrating. I can't change this. It needs to be Times New Roman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, I worked there. I, I worked there for five years. It was, it was uh, yeah, nothing. I, I felt like I was a fish outside the water there, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I was listening to Mario music, and for people here, hey, where is my documents? I'm listening to Mario songs. It's just, <laughs> people, oh, people come to me. What are you doing here? I'm like, yeah, what? I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I think I just. <laughs> yeah. uh, but then I, uh, I, I think you, you know, in life sometimes you just follow like what is normal to everyone. And then one time, one moment, you, I, I'm so glad I realized that I was, I was going, I was doing something that wasn't me. And um, so I got to that point when I was selling pies. So the pies, so it's a long story. I'll try to keep it short. But I, I start to bring food no, to my life. It's cool. We have time. Right? I, I like to cooking, so I bring food to my friends at work, and I bring these pies. It's called empadas. It's, it's a Brazilian. It's like a, a quiche, but it's close. I call pie, but it's not. It's actually called empadas, and right. they really like it. And they keep asking, "Bring it tomorrow, bring it again." So I had to. It was so many pies. I start selling pies there, and then the people in the corridor start to smell it. They're like, "Bring it for us too," and then the people in the <laughs> last next door like, "Bring it to us too." We want it. And we realized I was selling like five thousand pies a month. It what? was like oh, it wow. was going out of crazy. Crazy. That is crazy. And That's some good time. I had uh, I started like <laughs> basic I'm administrating. I'm the you I'm the pies do? I want to pay. Five thousand pies a month. That is insane. That was a lot of pies. I had like a, I in like two months I contracted like uh, sellers and I had people working with me making the pies and I was administrating this it's kind of small business and then oh, people nice. like. Hey. Did, it, so, did it have a name? Did your business have a name? So yeah, I was calling Cal Empadas Quero Mais, which means uh, I'm, I want more. You could never Love eat it. one pie oh, and nice. you always want more pie, so I found right. this was the best name. And when <laughs> I was, um, I did this course to prepare to open the business to the, uh, like a restaurant, a uh, shop, a pie shop. And at this course, um, that's where I did the decision to make video games and leave everything behind. Um, <laughs> Why? Yes. What happened? 
so in this course, um, the it, it was like a week short course for startups, right. and they asked questions. It was crazy. It was like a kind of like a therapy. <laughs> and then they, he's like, I "Think about five years from now, where you want your business to be? Ten years, fifteen years." I was like, "Yeah, I want Impada's Caromais to be in the whole world." And then he <laughs> he said something really really important that changed my life. I actually did a TED talk uh, about this this question. Oh, wow! Uh, it was my TED talk I did now in uh, Texas and San 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 Antonio. So, so I just did this yeah. TED actually on the 15th. Uh, I hope I can share with you guys <laughs> later. But he asked this question and he said, "Okay, now imagine that you don't have anything. You don't have business. You don't have any work. Any any past. You don't have any." courses you've done forget about your family your friends every forget about everything imagine that you're born now here today and you don't have anything any nothing just born now what would you like to be doing five years and ten years and then suddenly that question changed so much because i was like oh that's my god i don't want to be incredible. here that is an incredible story so that's reality check vr here he just arrived yeah, he's, he's actually in the game hey. yeah, i was trying to get hey. him here he's, he's got beer over there it he's looks like he's got beer i'm giving a I'm on your awesome game guys how you doing man you good hey welcome so yeah and then i i realized that oh my god I don't want to, I don't want to be making pies for five years, 10 years, 15 years. And, uh, oh, Ricky's coming too. He just, uh, said, but so uh, that, that was really good because uh, sometimes in life you need to just uh, see things clear. And that, that was really important for me. And I realized, oh my God, I love playing video games and I've been playing video games since I born, since I remember kind of like at home we have, I have three brothers, so I was really lucky. Uh, as a woman to actually be able to play video games in the 80s because unfortunately yeah, yeah, yeah. your parents do the games for girls it wasn't the market like they, uh, they all the commercials were for boys and yeah, hey yeah. he kind of yeah. so he kind this year he's um awesome. he's the ceo of Armory, the publisher of pixel rip hi guys <laughs> hey, <how are> you? <laughs> yeah. oh, i love your outfit <laughs> <laughs> they did they did all that so they did all this oh it's so cool Need to see yeah. all. Hey. Just the end, but... I'm doing like a lesson, and I'm the. Oh, sorry. Now, so... I'm. I'm gonna go sit down. I got in trouble. I got in trouble. I have a lot of donuts. <laughs> you know, How do I best... distract you? <laughs> this is this is the best. Uh, the best. Yeah. The best students a teacher could have. Look at this, all the donuts yeah, right? I got. <laughs> but we would have made your pies, but we couldn't. Yeah. Yeah. Holy cow. Shh, don't tell anyone. Wow, that's so nice. <laughs> beer for everyone. Look at that and nice. Game Boy for, for everyone. everyone. That's the yeah, best. The best school. I'm, I'm gonna have one. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> here, try, want beer. Want beer. Oh, yeah, yeah, beer. Yeah, beer. Yeah, beer. I want beer. Good man. Oh, no. yeah, yeah. oh my God, it's the best, uh, the best school ever, right? We, we can all uh, leave this, the, leave this school days we never had when we were kids, right? Have beer, play games. You know Speak for yourself. Yeah. Everyone drink a beer. Everyone drink a beer and play games. <laughs> Best <Play games>. slur. <laughs> it's all good. Wow. Oh, and you got to nice. take control though. You got to take so. control of them. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Everyone, everyone, don't behave. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. I like this teacher. Yeah, it's fair. Uh, you know. Absolute class so, Anna, teacher. Anna. That must have been like, to go from that business, yeah, to going to develop a video game, that must have been quite scary. Yeah, actually, scary was continuing that place. That was, like, scary. <laughs> continuing working in the Justice Council for me, it was, oh, right. it so was, was a like, nightmare. Yeah, no <laughs> I, 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 love, I love trying and learning new things and trying new things. So, for me, leaving that job was actually really easy after it wasn't scary. Scary was staying there, actually. So financially, did you save money ready for this venture? So I, when I had the pie business, I had some money I saved. Uh, 
I have some savings to actually build the restaurant after pies, and I decided, wow. okay, I'm gonna move to baking games. And I didn't have any knowledge at the time. I didn't have any any. I didn't know how to make games. Just play it, right? So I had to start <laughs> from zero. <laughs> and I got this money. I sold my car, and I uh, I found a, a course I wanted to do in England, and I traveled to England. I did one year of games programming. Uh, it's called the SAE University, and then this course was basically you build your game engine <laughs> in C++. So yeah, it was yeah, yeah. really hardcore, and I'm glad that my first course was actually uh, that way because after when I I learned Unity, I'm started learning Unity. I found so easy and so good, and it's <laughs> it's like when you learn how to drive a car. Uh, if you drive, if you learn how to drive a hard one, you're gonna really appreciate when you get a car. Yeah, that's more yeah, powerful yeah. One without and... power steering and one with power steering so, so yeah what... pixel rip is my first game it, it was actually the next course i did after this was the nfts which was two years and that that course uh, was also in england was a master's degree and then you have the last year just to do one game and then when yeah. i did pixel rift i don't know if you guys oh, remember yeah, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah, my yeah. student yeah. That was my student project of that course. Like, this is 2014. That was student that's crazy. That's, that's, that's yeah. a lot as well. Like, that was a lot. Yeah. And that so was three years, kind of. Reality. You was always going to go virtual reality. Oh, I, yeah. That, that's the plan. So why did you choose virtual reality? What was your first experience of virtual reality? Um, so actually, uh, when I was studying at the NFTS, there was one other student. Uh, he was from the year before me. And he was, uh, he did um, a VR, okay. uh, in the DK, this is DK one time, so he did this VR experience, it was called the Sandman, and you would be in a boat, it was really chill, that was the first time I tried VR, and then I, I asked him, where did you get this, and I got one, like, the next day, I got an Oculus, <laughs> uh, 2013, and then I was just, I just wanted to make VR, uh, work with VR since that day. Um, I, I tried a lot during the course, but then my course uh, coordinator, he was, uh, uh, he, it's a film school, so they are really traditional. So every project I'll go, I want to make in VR. No, there's no way to make storytelling in VR. And I'm like, come on. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. But now they change their minds. Uh, it's proven now that we can do nice. storytelling really well in VR. But at the time, it was like yeah. crazy. How can you do a storytelling without controlling the cameras? Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but yeah. Pixel Rift, yeah. I managed That's to convince cool. him and I did Pixel Rift in VR. Awesome. <laughs> so what, what games were your no, main really. inspiration for Pixel Rift? Okay, so Did you uh, play the game? I, I played that. <laughs> guys, I played Gone Home. It's like a, a indie yeah. game. It's, yep. yeah. yeah, so I, I had played that at the time. It's kind of a little bit retro. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's kind of a little bit retro. And thank you for the <laughs> 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 photo. Yeah, what I was saying, I am my favorite. My inspiration is there. So Mega Man, of course, is one yeah, big Mega one. Yeah, Mega Man, yeah. yeah. Um, My hand. Sonic? Sonic, Mario 2, there's a lot of Mario there. A lot of old school platform games, like so kind of, Guns at the Goblins. time, I... Yeah, Ghosts and Goblins. Oh, yeah. Like, at, at yeah. the yeah. NFTS, That's I awesome. actually played again the whole game. We had the Mega Drive there, and I played with a friend, and we got some Goblin beers, and we finished, like, in a weekend, <laughs> Ghosts and Goblins. Yeah. That, that, that is hard. Nice. Nice. It's so hard. hard. I finished that game on yeah. um, yeah. Mega Drive. So really it was the best I never, game. That game, like, was, wow. was so hard. Yeah, that, game <laughs> yeah. Is, that game is something else. Well done. That it took, so like, tough. a year or something to get that good. <laughs> I got a question. But was, was there any Final Fantasy uh, in like influenced uh, for Pixel Rip? Because some of the characters, like the Master, kind of reminded me of Final Fantasy One a little bit. Some of the characters. Oh yeah, yeah, go kind of, yeah, good point. That is a little bit, but uh, actually, in the next games, we're gonna go for more uh, Final Fantasy oh, reference. Guys. This one oh. we focus more on the platform <laughs> games. Let's drink, let's drink. Uh, she, she, uh, she, drank, she drank too much beer, guys. Uh, <laughs> she drank too much beer. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but, uh, we, we can, we can tell gonna, them, right? Yeah, we can, but we're not going to 
gonna reveal. Uh, uh, yeah, we can't. We're gonna be do an announcement when I actually can say which one's gonna be in the next episode. But uh, we can say that so, we have planned four episodes coming in. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So who here got to the end of the game? Cool. Who here? Who here yeah. got to the very end of the game? Heck yeah, yeah, so, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yes. I did. Do you remember yeah. you can choose the year that Dot goes yes. next? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. What did everyone pick? <laughs> I, think I, I chose I chose What did you guys seven. pick? I picked uh, uh, yes, the newest looking one. I think. I like, it looked one, like um, uh, I Super Metroid X. looking Dot. Yeah. N64 yeah. type deal. Yes. Yeah. No, I went like this. Yes. <laughs> I went N64 deal. So what yeah. did that do? Did that do anything? Sorry, Ricky, you were saying, sorry. No, no, it's just we can tell which what you guys picked. So, <laughs> oh, really? not individ not individually, but we have stats of what's the biggest, uh, yes. wow. the most cool. chosen oh, one. Yeah. That is. Brilliant. What is the most chosen one? Stats. Secret. It is secret. That will be that will be the, that will be the next game. So. Yes. Oh, bro, yeah. yeah. We found cool, it would be yeah. cool to have uh, you guys decide in the next game, and uh, wow. we wanted to put That's in really the game cool. like yeah. analytics uh, so we can actually see the true decisions. Uh, and it makes part of the story because if you see Master is saying, I don't know where Cybling Lord went, and yeah, I need help. Uh, <laughs> and you guys decide where he was, uh, where you think he, he went, which arrow, right? Uh, but we have these four episodes that we're gonna definitely do. Uh, we can say that. <laughs> and then we're gonna be referenced more of these other games. Uh, of course, Pixel Rip is gonna be the same uh, plot. You always looking for Dot to help Dot uh, f get the stone, fight against Cyber Lord. But the game will change, and you be in different eras of video games. And then also the three 3D world that you are. So in this one, you're in a classroom in the in England, then in control in Nicola. But the next ones, you'll be in a different places, different years, and and different characters that Dot goes in a quest to control these right. players' bodies. And so imagine 1987, 1978, you'll be in Atari era, in oh, the cool. 70s, oh, and yeah. Cool. So Very it's cool. gonna change. I have, I have a question, to follow up question for that. Uh, will Dot get a partner? <laughs> so uh, yeah, we discuss about having new characters coming, um, appearing, and uh, like having options. They maybe have like two special powers for other characters, but we, yeah. there's nothing decided yet. But we definitely want to do stuff like that. Different characters uh, will appear. Uh, like in this one, we have Arturo. That's kind of a super ghost and ghost one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But we want to have these other characters, like we had the chicken, we have those other things happening, but it would Perhaps. be cool if you could control those characters, right? But it's yeah. not decided so, yet. I can't so, many ideas. Ideas. There's so many ideas Sorry. for that game. Though. So Pixel Rip was a Kickstarter, was it? Did you set up a Kickstarter for that, first of all? And how much of the game have you made before you met... Uh... Uh, Avery, yeah. Ricardo, Avery, yeah. So, um, actually, the Kickstarter, this is a long time ago, and Kickstarter failed, uh, but this, and we got the investment from um, an accelerator in Silicon Valley um, called Boost VC. They invest in VR companies and startups, and yeah. uh, this is 2015. So, it was, I got this early stage, I got some investment rocks, so I got this Kickstarter that failed, and I got this accelerator that I invested, and then for 2016, I was self-funding the project, so it's kind of a, money was gone, and I was self-funding the project, I had, um, we had freelancers around the world, the team, and we're people, getting, friends that have been helping me out right? when they had time, okay. uh, it was really hard to finish a big project uh, without... How much of the game uh, was made at that point? Um, kind of, uh, um, when we met, we kind of had like, probably, it feels like half of, half of the game was done because the polish takes so long, right? Mm -hmm, the polish yeah. and, and yeah. the final stage of, uh, it, it was really long. So when I, I met uh, yeah. Ricardo, actually, this was 2000, we met in the uh, first VR 2016. Event. Yeah, 2016. Yeah. And Ricardo had yeah. played the game in uh, Oculus Share, so he knew the game. Uh, and yeah. we never had oh. met and we met in this event and then we keep in touch and then ricardo um in 2000 last year last year it's yeah. not a long time ago uh, and yeah. announced that oh, we're opening Avery. is this amazing it's like the um view focus in vr immersive experience you want to talk about that then we, we talk a little <laughs> no, bit yeah, about yeah. Yeah, yeah sure but, tag it out, tag it but uh yeah we we 
we we decided to start this VR studio here in Brazil, which is a crazy adventure doing that here, you know. But uh, we did it anyways, and uh, we ha we built a team. And we were doing some cool like VR experiences, and then I had already met Anna. She got in touch, and we started talking again. And at that time, she was living in the U.S., but she wanted to come back to Brazil, and we started talking, and we. So we had a team. She needed to finish her project. Like the, you asked where the project was. Like the whole thing was there, but like there's so much polishing and so much. Like it, it wasn't. It wasn't still like ready to not. It wasn't ready to become a like a yeah, published game. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You'd yeah. obviously seen the game. You'd obviously seen the game and thought this is going to be big. This oh yeah, big. like from the very yeah. first version, like from her student project, I really loved it, right? But when she published that student project on Oculus Share back in the day, like I, I had a DK2 and everything, and uh, that in those times, like the things that were on Oculus Share weren't actually games, right? They're just a bunch of like weird tech demos, and then suddenly Here this thing was an actual demo. was an actual game proposition, you know? So it was really mm -hmm. interesting. But then when I when I played the game in 2016. It was the f only like the first level, right? That we that I had tried, uh, and it was already super creative and super like interesting and everything. But uh, yeah, when I saw the other that it had like other levels, and each level was almost a new game in terms of like what it brought <laughs> to the table, right? Oh, yeah, it was yeah. so creative yeah. and so cool. Yeah, so so we immediately said, yeah, let's do it together. Let's let's finish it. We have a team. Like you don't have we we have the investment. We have the team. We can do the marketing. So that's how how it went right yeah yeah it was uh, the final push that I, I needed to finish this game and uh, has been yeah. great we actually we actually gonna make the next games together uh Aubrey is willing to invest and and we're gonna do it together uh, it's really exciting like it has been working really well uh we kind what's of have like? the same uh, love for vr and it's just... yeah, mm -hmm. actually what's, what's ricardo it's a, it's like a multi multitask ceo he actually did the voice in the trailer do you want to do a little <laughs> bit the rest? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh god you why did you do that to me? Why did you do that to me? I'm shy. All right. Now I can do it because I'm laughing. <laughs> let, me drink, let me drink a little beer before. <laughs> no, here's the story, okay? So I, I edited the trailer, right? And because the, tra the trailer was really cool because like some friends from, from Anna's like university had shot that little kid. Have you guys seen the trailer with the little kid? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So some some friends from her university had had shot that uh, that scene with the little kid, but there was no trailer. Right? There wasn't edited. It wasn't anything. So I edited it together, and I wrote I wrote I wrote some uh, just some copy of for what would be like the trailer. Like we wanted to make it cheesy, like a 1980s trailer. And then uh, I recorded like placeholder voiceover because I said like let me record my voice just to edit it, and then we'll find a a suitable like voice actor or whatever. Uh, like to do it, and then she wouldn't let me get rid of that voice. It was so like, good, like, like <laughs> it was and then good. originally, good yeah, or, uh, originally I was doing the voice of the mom that appears in the beginning of the trailer as well. So like, <laughs> who's it? Go, go outside, mama. Uh, yeah. So 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 originally I did the mom, and it was like go outside, blah blah, and uh, that was horrible. So I I said okay, I'll keep my voice for the whole trailer except for the mom. So who did the mom was actually the same guy who does the teacher uh, oh, who is Gareth oh, right he actually he actually said it <laughs> actually spoke to him about the, doing the voice for the trailer and he's like this voice actor you guys have is really good you shouldn't take him <laughs> out <laughs> yeah. so, so it goes like go outside your world and play now in an incredible new virtual <laughs> world <laughs> <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I That's said it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it as a side gig now, right? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Good side gig. Yeah, awesome. I love the trailers. That was so funny. But yeah, yeah it came out really cool. We, we we did it in like this cheesy 1980s video game commercial style, and Man, we want to do the next trailer. the next games the same thing, right? That yeah. trailer is one Definitely. of the best trailers yeah. I've seen in a long yeah. time. Good. It was good. Yeah, I oh, thanks. It was <laughs> it's a really it's a really challenging uh, well, game yeah. to. Ex yeah, it's a really challenging game to explain, right? Even if I, if you ask me what is Pixarate right now, like it, it's very hard to put it in yeah, one it, sentence. Like it, it's know, a very hard game to explain. Yeah. So, so the trailer was really challenging to do in a way another that people under, even decade, understand what the game year. was. So we just yeah, went yeah. for like, let's make it crazy, and people will love it. And, and yeah.
in a world where your reality is not your own. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> oh, there's Davy. Hey. Oh, my God. Hey, hey Stacy, hey. what's up, Dave? Hey. Oh, why is that? What's up, Dave? Hey, Dave. Late to class, as usual. <laughs> Does she know we can't hear her? Nice. Or, oh, actually, people can't hear me. DJ Cutman, yeah. We are having audio issues. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. pretty good. That is awesome. The music the was theme really theme good. The tune's just ins theme change here. insane. Like, it's so good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. really good. Really clever melody. Really clever melody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So today, so today you made an announcement that Pixel Rip 99 is going to launch in the EU, Australia, and New Zealand. Yes. That is for cool. PlayStation. Awesome. Yes. yes. I mean, it, it, it was already there for Oculus and Steam, but uh, not for PlayStation. So now it's coming out for PlayStation on all those territories. And thank you very really much. Cool. Sorry, guys. We're gonna go back in there quickly. And some issues with the audio, obviously. Hopefully I can do this. So, I am not rec room savvy. There we go. Oh, that might be it right there. Hmm. Um, yeah, it, it, yeah. It, it, it's very challenging. Like it, it's very challenging for a small team to la even launch uh, on PlayStation. There's a lot of uh, QA processes very, very involved, right? Especially for Man. VR, it's extra, not... extra stuff, right? For VR, and we have to... to the Q and A process comes up every time. Every time. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's yeah. good that they do that because eventually you'll get better games and everything, right? But it's uh, very challenging for a small team, and we made the decision early on that we would launch on all VR platforms at the same time. So we launched <laughs> on PlayStation, on Steam, on Oculus, yeah, on everything yeah, at the yeah, same yeah. time. And then uh, when we noticed that the, the, the European process was a even separate one from that, we had to, there was no way we could do that as well at the same time. So. We did that. We started doing that as soon as we could, but it still took a couple months to be able to so finish. So imagine, it, right? like we had the game, we had the game ready like three months, three months before we launched it. Uh, it could be released on Oculus and Steam, and we delayed three months uh, just for Sony. And it was just Americas. And imagine if it was a global wild Sony release, we would be yeah, yeah, yeah. like delaying for five months the game. And, uh, it's it's, uh, it's really sad. Uh, uh, the only thing we could do, it was up uh, on our hands that we could actually do was this competition. So we built a, a special competition just for Europe uh, because nice. all these contests we did before, they couldn't participate in, and yeah. And I know it's frustrating for them. So uh, we yeah. did this contest uh, that they, the, the player that gets the most pixels on level one and, and then yeah. shares with us is going to be actually on the cover of a magazine. And nice. this is going to be just Europe because we actually put inside the game the contest. So when you go in the classroom, there's the, the flyer of the contest and Nicola's desk as uh, the competition was actually going on inside her world. So it's quite cool. Wow. Um, yeah, so it took a long time. It said uh, we, did, we did the best we could, but we are the ones that went the most right to release this game. And people yeah, are like, yeah, oh, yeah. I think so long. We wanted uh, to do, we wanted well, to, to release it. They couldn't. Yeah, it's yeah, fine. It's, it's done happy, now. Right? It's fine. Hands are tied. Yeah, yeah. it's so going to be uh, out on the 16th of the 16 now. Uh, we're actually going to be in the VR Awards. Uh, it's like uh, it's going on now in England. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game of the year. Yeah. Game of the game year, of the yeah. Year. Absolutely. Yep. Excellent. I will be there okay. with yep. my uh, special I think somebody daughter. has a question over there. 
Oh, I didn't know if this is how we were doing it or not. Right. <laughs> no, Ray, he's raising his hand. Good day. Awesome. So you were saying the separate QA process, like it sounds like maybe the game was pretty much already done at that point when you had to reintroduce the QA. Did you find stuff that you ended up reintroducing back into the base game from that QA? Like how different was so, the process? Actually, it, it, it's it's kind of like we send the game the game is released in america we say here the game is good right it's working but then it's when you get yeah. the qa there they if the person that gets your game and it thinks there's something you have Your to questions. improve it it doesn't yeah it's like another qa yeah. process so we had so things I, like I, uh fps like, sony is very cop, cop and good ideas cop. that you ended up using you know, when oh, it's not a the QA time. is not qualitative. It's not really qualitative QA. They don't say, "Oh, change." This is a bad gameplay section. They don't do that. It's more like mm. your frame rate here is going below X. It's more of a performance thing than okay. a. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It's to to fit all the all the like ne necessities of the of the device and everything. It's not. They don't say like, "Oh, you change this level because it's yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. this jump this jump." This jump over here is too hard. They don't, they don't do that, right? I, it's I, just, gotta, uh... I, I gotta say something, because I was, I was there. I was there watching them painfully watch you guys ask for the game, and they were, like, trying to get it to you guys, and, and they were desperate. And I was in Brazil, and it was so sad seeing them, you know, want the game to get to everybody. But here's, here's what happened. It's Sony. Sony is the one that did it, and this is what happens exactly. They said, here's their awesome game. Dave, you play it. What's wrong with it? And the Dave says, this is what's wrong, and we fix it. We fix it. And they're like, cool. And the next time they're like, gamer tag, you play it. What's wrong with the game? And, the, and then every time they're like, and then now you play it. They never give it back to Dave. They just keep changing it around. So it's opinion-based. And, and these guys tried so hard. I just, it was so hard to watch it and see it. Okay, anyways, they, they, oh, wow. uh, yeah, I'm not. They have a, they have a very, um, uh, very specific process on that. Like, one person's given something, they just have to go, yeah, as a focus. Sony has, like, a, a kind of thing you get one job handed to you, and you yeah, just do, do that. And you don't it's, a, it's a like in big yeah. corporations you have like siloed things so like once one division doesn't talk to the other you know how it is right so yeah. it's, very, uh, it, it's just siloed. a big process and it's very hard to like so and, and for now for us now it's a it, the issue is like we have two separate branches of the game so like we have to go through QA for updates separately yeah, <laughs> we have to go yeah, through yeah. so it's like very uh, yeah, very like, complicated <laughs> because yeah. we did a day one patch that's on um, yeah we did a day one patch on uh on the US, ver on the Americas version. And then we said, can we already send you the version with the patch? No, we had to do like the whole QA process for both the patch and the, and the game again, you know, so it's a little bit complicated, but I mean, so it worked out. You, yeah, it worked out in the end. If you compare, like, so imagine like when you had that chain uh, uh, bug. Um, so remember that bug you found there, uh, like someone found the bug, hey, is it gonna be fixed? On Oculus, we oh, can no. go there, do the change and then update it and and get it the same day like again in the store just do an update it's in the store steam is quick too but then sony is gonna take a uh, few more oh, weeks the... because we have to yeah, book a yeah, slot yeah. we have to do the it's it and you have to wait for passing and everything it it's cool. <laughs> it, yeah it is, it is a bureaucratic Not it's sure a big enough. corporate After company and then uh, like for example oh, um sorry no go go sorry so, for example, uh, one of the bugs we had the last time now in Europe was like um, the FPS was falling. If you watch, uh, you know, the main menu in the classroom, if you watch the whole television trailers at the end, uh, there's a, the logo explodes at that moment, the FPS will fall for a few oh. seconds. And but like, would you re would you rather have game now or wait for two months? It's like it's one of this is, this is the thing like. And then you fix that, you send it, but they may come with other problems that they didn't say before, well, and then you send it again, mm -hmm. it, you know? There was a great a game recently <laughs> come out called, uh, called Trickster, Trickster, and um, basically the multiplayer yeah. was cut, and when I spoke to the developer, he said it's because every two minutes it dropped two frames. So you had to yeah. cut eight months, well, eight months' work. Well, why can't you just take a creeper out or something to make up for that? Yeah. yeah. That's not to say I mean, it won't come in the future, but, you know, I I'm imagine. just saying. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. That's pretty harsh. It, it, it's and difficult, then, especially for VR. They're really, really, really. They, you can't lose frames, right? It's very, very strict. And uh, like even in our loading screens, we had like we had a frame dip in the like it was all white, and they would still like 
there's a frame drop here in the fully white loading screen, <laughs> right? Oh, and, but then yeah. that one, that yeah, one, they eventually wave. How did Winkin yeah. get through this process? Yeah. How did Winkin yeah. get through this process? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Right. Uh, so actually, this like is overall. Uh, oh, go uh, ahead. Sorry. No. I was just gonna say, do you feel like their um, their stringent stringent process, like it has to be exactly perfect? Do you think in the long run that's gonna help them or hurt them, like in the VR market? Because if everything is much more of a hassle for developers, but PC VR gets to be a lot easier. It's like, does Sony keep that market share if everything well, runs as well? I guess it depends on how much money they, they make like as well. well how much I money mean, they, they are the biggest platform right now, and, uh, yeah. and I well, think yeah, the extra... I mean, the future, I guess. The extra care helps with the curation, so like, I'm sure eventually what gets to their platform is something that went through this whole process, so... You, you, you at least you have a guarantee, like a quality uh, you know like guarantee of quality and everything yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, i mean there are benefits to it but it is it is not friendly for like a very small developer for sure it's not but uh yeah i mean eventually you'll get through the process and it make it work you know so i, I know i think there are pros and cons but uh well, there's pros and cons to both to both ways to do it you know uh I'm sure the questions. next time we do it it's gonna be easier yeah, well, there was a learning curve from us as well, yeah, like in terms of, yeah, yeah, yeah. We learned the whole pro. It's very, very, very involved. So we learned the whole process as we did it. So uh, there was a learning curve. So I'm sure the next time is going to be much better. So. So I've got some uh, viewer questions for you both. Um, mm -hmm. And if you want to ask any questions, anyone, all you got to do is on the on the announcement videos use the hashtag questions. First one is from Met Club. Are there any updates planned for Pixel Ripped 1989? So we have a Halloween special uh, plan. Oh, uh, no. Actually, working on this right now. What? Uh, <laughs> mind blown! Mind blown! Um, yeah. Halloween yeah. special. What Kevin loves a bit of Halloween. That's so good. That's so good. Uh, I, I, I just buy card in time to play it as well. Yay. <laughs> so yeah, actually, I'm working on this right now. We are right now uh, working on it. Um, actually, you need to open here my computer. Uh, but it's gonna be just a <laughs> yeah. Easter egg. It's a Easter egg. Um, a uh, free little level that you guys can play and it's just a funny nice. joke nice. with the classroom is all like kind of That's a fun. nightmare of nicole um but yeah it's a it's coming on halloween and we're we gonna be on discount on halloween for oculus and when it comes we're gonna be posting when we have more details but yeah that's the only thing i can say for now um awesome but yeah, 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 it's gonna be a fr it's gonna be entirely free content that we're just giving people because we love them. Super, and, yeah. very yeah. nice. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. When Pixel Rip launches in the EU, it will have a pre-order discount, I believe. Is that gonna come up a few days before, or is it you know? Yeah, it will be twenty percent discount for two weeks. Uh, yeah, yeah, not pre-order. Like we did pre-order on the uh, since we weren't able to do pre-order on EU, we're just gonna have oh, two man, weeks after fun. launch. Uh, it's gonna be a twenty oh, percent discount. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Oh, no. yeah. So the next question from Geox is, do you have a next VR project? Pixel yes. Rips, and that is, <laughs> so, Avery, uh, so we have the next Pixel Rips coming, four episodes planned, but uh, Avery also has a bunch of, we have a bunch of other projects working there. Do you want to talk about that? Um, yeah, uh, I can't talk about specifically about all the, uh, uh, any of them right now, but uh, yeah, pi the, we, we got the sequel of Pixel Ripped, which was, uh, we're starting as soon as uh, this whole, uh, as soon as we finish the this whole this whole part of Anna, Anna's so not I, Anna's I, in I, the I, U.S. I, right now. Yeah. yeah. I'm in a hotel uh, room now in San, Santa Clara. <laughs> yeah. So as soon as, 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 as we already started the project in terms of the <laughs> initial cre creation of of the uh, you know of the concepts yeah, and the everything but uh storyboard, all yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 but we're gonna actually start for real like once she comes back. Uh, and then, uh, and this won't, here. this one won't, this one won't take four years. This is something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. This one, no. this is for the PSVR three, right? Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, oh, yeah, and then this one. Uh, so, so you're saying you've got um, some, uh, you, you've got things for PSR three there already? Yeah. Uh, no. No, but uh, this one won't take four years. No, 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 no. This one won't take four years. And uh, and uh, but we also at Arvory we have some cool projects in the pipeline. We'll be able to talk more about them soon. But uh, we have a bunch awesome. of cool things in the works. Yeah. So Piffy, so is, he wants to know if uh, Pixel Rips coming out in Australia, which it is. Uh, yeah. Our, our model just announced yeah, today. The game is now. Yeah, just announced today. Yeah, the game is also being released in the EU from our models. Polish Paul. 
Will there be different time periods added to your game? With the, the picture rip, which is Paul. the four chapters you were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. The, the, the four know. chapters at the end, these are the four next episodes that we're going to be doing. And yeah, each so one. you're going to have Atari era in the 70s, we're going to be having like arcades, and we're going to have like Nintendo, and the fight against, plushie, you know, man. Sega Genesis, and... <sighs> Nintendo, Super Nintendo, the era that was great, the and Nintendo versus First, the first Ooh. 3D games in 1999. So we're gonna, of course, reference different games and different eras, but Pixel Rip is still gonna be the same. It's still gonna be Dot. Um, yeah, Sick. fighting uh, to get oh. the Pixel Stone and <laughs> Cyber Lord, but we're gonna be referencing all these different eras and years of video games. The next question is from our Danish. Where's Danish? Do you remember your question, Dave? Uh, no. <laughs> no, 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 isn't it in your gear. you know what that's yeah, yeah. Is it, what is kid. it the gear kid the gear, the gear kid. kid with the yeah. program what is it I throw it I throw <laughs> it um so it um so then the era 1989 was uh, the year of the Game Boy so we want to reference that uh, yeah here you go but also we want to have a console that had uh, its own identity our own identity and it's kind of a mix with the Game Boy the Game Gear. Um, yeah. but we, well, the game was a but if that console yeah. existed at the time, it would be a, a winner, just like the graphics. Yeah, really cool. <laughs> yeah it, it, the game is too good. The game is too good for a, for an eight bit game, right? Like those games, but still. And it, definitely, I don't remember like them becoming three dimensional on my school table, but. <laughs> Yeah, cool. Yeah. And, the, and the last question is from Jason the Livinator, the producer of the show. What was your inspiration in making the game? Was it childhood memories or just a loving gaming? Wow, it was a mix of both. Uh, I um, started with uh, this dream I had. Was, I was really struggling to decide what was going to be my final project. And I, I couldn't you come up with ideas. I was going to work on this carnival game, a uh, Brazilian carnival game. and. And my course coordinator was like pushing me, no, you should write it at least five different ideas. And then I had this dream that I was playing a game and it was quite crazy. Like I was playing a game on the TV and every time the game involved in graphics, uh, the whole living room was like changing, pixelating. And, and then oh, there was wow. until the graphics were like realistic and everything was merged together. So I woke up and I was telling everyone about this dream and everyone, all my colleagues were, were like, <laughs> of my colleagues were like, this is a great idea. And I was like, yeah, I, I want to make a game about the history of video games and that feeling of playing a game and following that game changing. You know, when when you remember when you're a kid and you play like, I want to see how Mario's going to look now. I want to see how, you know, these characters, that, that the old games that you kind of follow and, and you see them evolving and change. So it started from that. And then, of course, I had some things that made me change a lot. Like we had a lot of uh, bugs that changed the game, like uh, the boss battle moment when the characters are all out of the console. This was actually a bug. Uh, I, I wasn't planning to be in the game. Uh, the character, the 2D character, I forgot to tell the camera, don't draw that character outside the TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was playing the game on the TV and then dots start jumping around like this 2D sprite huge and that really changed uh, the game. Uh, it was a, a whole process of development, but so pixel, most of, pixel yeah. ripped come from a dream. That is amazing. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> that is dream, dream, dream come true. Crazy. Dream come true. Literally yeah. dream come yes. true. Yes. Yes. That's so cool. <laughs> Do you have any feedback on the final boss? Uh, a, a lot of people have complained about how difficult it is, and that took the oh, length, no took just as long to yeah, beat the final actually... boss as the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on that? What's your feedback been? And right. we actually did some improvement on the like we made it a little bit we polished a little bit the balance the gameplay there it was a little bit uh a big pick like of difficulty in the end like uh ideally next game we actually spoke about making a you can choose a normal um easy or hard yeah. hardcore uh, uh, mode nice. and then we're gonna have like Levels that are going to be hard or easy, you know. That's not a bad idea, yeah. but you've got to reward the people who get through that. Because that last yeah. level, man, I wanted to <laughs> give up. 
This is something it's something funny because while we do get a lot of feedback about it, some people actually like that it's super hard, but uh, I uh, I think I think I, I think I think there's a balance in the middle, you know. Also we realized some people didn't notice that you could like use the spitball to destroy the fire circles in, in the last boss, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. and, and that uh, I don't know if it's for reference, I haven't actually finished it because I oh, need no. to, I haven't got the Oh, I, no, 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 no. I haven't got, I haven't got the power on my um, graphics card. I'm on PC side, not on the, the v- PSVR side. So I wanted to stream the whole game, but I couldn't because I was getting frame rate issues while I was streaming. So oh, I haven't man. finished it yet. So I've got a new graphics card and we'll be finishing this off. Maybe that's and Sony's it sounds problem, like... dude. Maybe they're using your PC to Q&A the game. Uh, that's, just <laughs> that is, that's, that's possibly it. That's possibly it. Shh. You're not supposed to say about this. It's supposed to be a secret, dude. It's supposed to be a secret. But, so uh, um, about the difficulty, you guys uh, um, think is a good idea at the next game? We choose like Hardies and all? Like, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. More yeah, often yeah, yeah, better. Yeah. better. It will, it, will be, it, won't be, it won't be hard, easy, normal. It will be easy, normal, and old school, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like that. Yeah. Old school. You yeah, no, I like You should do it in years. Oh, cool. You should go oh, 80s, yeah, yeah. 90s. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> good idea. Yeah, That's like good idea. Idea. I have been playing a lot of... Uh, oh, battle tournaments. I was playing a lot of... I was, I've been playing, I was telling, like, Donkey Kong and all this. I've I been mean, playing with the Nintendo, Super Nintendo Classic a lot. And I, I, like it. You, you spend like days in one level and dying and coming back and again. Like yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. remember any game nowadays that I actually have that the feeling. Donkey Kong Frozen level. I will say the Donkey Kong yeah. uh, still keeps it really, really hard. Tropical <laughs> freeze. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. New, yeah, new That's Donkey the thing. Kong's still really freeze. difficult. As much as that, as much as that last level is <laughs> really hard. You got that feeling of accomplishment at the end of it. And so it's it the was, end yeah. of the game, yeah. right? It's the yeah. final boss. I, I really like boss battles, and I was. Uh, yeah. I made it. Uh, I was. I'm really excited about this boss battle, and I think we maybe got too excited. Okay. And when we realized <laughs> the boss, the boss battle was like rounds inside rounds, and the last yeah. round had like three rounds. And and uh, I think it was also because I didn't want to finish the game. Maybe he, like maybe I was just trying to make the game longer, longer, longer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Wicked. it became this I huge boss ending. battle. Uh, boss battles should be epic, right? And yeah. should be long. Oh, yes. yeah. yeah, of course. It was epic. Hell yeah. It was I think like we should four give transitions a... of one boss. I think, I think, I think we should give our options for everyone. Sure. Where is he? Go for it, Shug. Uh, well, just to jump in on there, uh, Dark Souls. Dark Souls would be the exception to that rule for modern gaming. Uh, being hard. <laughs> yes. And <laughs> having boss fights yeah. and all that stuff. Um, but anyways, my Super question... Super Meat Boy. Super Meat Boy. Too. There you go. Meat Boy, yeah. yeah. Super, Super Meat, meat Boy. boy. Uh, Anna, Ricky, my question Cuphead. for you is, and this is for me actually, um, from the developer's perspective, and you talked about five-year goals, five-year plans, where do you see VR in the next five years and say ten years? Wow. You want to take that? In five years, in 10 years, in 15. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk to? We could do five. We could just do five. <laughs> um, I, I see, um, especially now with the quest, uh, I got really excited about it um, because it's still nowadays, like, we have so many set up to play a game. Like, yesterday, we tried to play a game. We had to check VR and all that. I was like, why? I just want to put a headset and play it. And there's always this steps that something goes wrong and all this stuff and i believe in five years at least we will have like a, <laughs> actually be able to get like a with the quest is going to be opening a big market so the market is stabilizing now it's getting there but i think in five years we will be having like um, maybe then apple will announce something to there i hope mm-hmm. uh, probably like yeah. the next few years less than five years but um i hope in the five years they probably uh, VR is going to be at least uh, something more common to people. Like Nowadays, yeah, it's mainst- to walk and people don't yeah. know what it is. Mainstream, easy yeah. to pick it up yeah. and just put it so, in your head, you know? Yeah. 
like obviously we are fully committed to it right we have a company that does the vr exclusively so uh, uh and we we got investments and like we believe in it but uh i love the sen a phrase that i heard from uh i was at oculus connect uh last year last week uh and michael abrash the scientist at oculus he uh i don't know if you guys were the keynote but he he showed a, a sentence by steve jobs at the end of the of, of, yeah, the, so of his presentation yeah and, and basically he said uh when, when Steve Jobs saw the first, like, at Xerox Park, like, the first computer that they had developed, uh, that they, didn't, they didn't know, yeah, they didn't know what to do with it, with, like, a mouse and a graphical interface, like, basically everything that we use for, like, uh, so many years after, and Steve Jobs said, you could argue, like, when it was going to happen and who would make it, but you couldn't argue it was inevitable, you know, like, and that's what I feel about yeah, VR, yeah. like, it's going to happen, I mean, maybe, yeah. Feel, and, yeah. Yeah, 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 so that's what, that's what I feel, I feel like it's closer than, that, and I, I feel like all these hurdles are already being overcome. So I feel like it's closer than we even think. Uh, technology moves very fast, right? And it's growing. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I mean, look at this, guys. We're in a virtual classroom talking. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm in Brazil. Yeah, She's yeah, in yeah. California. We're like, like, like what the hell? Yeah. We're yeah. in a virtuality yeah, talk yeah. show talking about virtual yeah. reality. It's, it's yeah, yeah. Mm. I don't believe in virtual reality. That wouldn't work, right? If I said that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, I've, got, I've got a lot of people we believe asking in it. about the I've, Oculus I've, Quest. I've... How do you feel about the Oculus Quest? Wow, uh, we played the arena there and Dead and Buried. That was really impressive. I was really impressed with the tracking. I was. I felt I forgot about um, I forgot I was in VR. I actually felt like I was pl playing like a paintball. I yeah. actually was uh, I was actually putting my hands in the box like you that you had those all those big boxes that they had there. Yeah. Uh, and and they didn't any sensors. They didn't did any. They said they didn't do uh, any previous setup there. Just well, like these white tapes. And it was incredible. I, I, I the think best it's a game, was, yeah. The best moment was when you you have your team in the other side and you have a. So you can still see the world now. That's a big game change for me. Like you can see yeah, yeah. And uh, the outside world all the time. So imagine like you're drinking a beer and if you are, like it happens with me many times, I'm drinking a beer and I throw the beer on the computer and I burn myself with tea. And this is not gonna happen anymore because <laughs> now you have the camera and you, you can now press, I press a whole day and you can actually access that camera and you can see everyone outside and then you come back. It's kind of like a take on me effect, like yeah. black and white, uh, really weird. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So you. Really useful. Yeah. Uh, that was, it was so cool. It's it was so cool, see, like, because it, it has push, a. Push the technology. Yeah, yeah, and it has like a no. It has a it has sound, but in, like the headphone is open, like kind of oh, like yeah, the Oculus Go, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And, it, and and for the arena game, that was really useful because I was on Anna's team, and I would like go up to next and say, "Oh, let's go over there," blah blah, and we could hear each other and see and each you other's avatars. High five, high five. Yeah, yeah, and real high and fives. Yeah, so cool. but uh, I think it's a complete game changer, man. I mean, sure, it's not the same graphics as uh, an Oculus Rift or anything, but uh, no. the the tracking is um, incredible. I couldn't even tell like the blind. Spot for the controllers, it was incredible. The point uh, is, playing, you play uh, it, everyone's gonna everyone's gonna play catch up. It's gonna push things forward for every every. Yeah, every yeah, platform. yeah. Yeah. And yeah, the actually, I thought they actually, got such a good price as well, three ninety nine for the yeah. whole thing is. That's we actually want to say that yeah. we, we want to be a launch title for a quest. We're actually now talking to Oculus about it, and yeah. because for of Pixel all the optimization we have done uh, for Sony, at least this is going to be good because all this optimization we would have to do anyway for the quest, and we yeah, kind yeah, of uh, yeah. halfway through. Yeah. Uh, so this is going to help us out uh, to be a launch title in the quest. So we are trying to uh, right now to see that mm. that happening. So. Do you think oh, it's exciting. Uh, awesome. Can I, can I ask a question? Uh, just because I did from the PC side, and um, you have that other mode in there, so you press F10, so it's like a streamer's right. mode. Um, how long did that take? I mean, that was a different approach because you, every time you lifted the console up, you had different presentation la layers going on. The other one was, um, did you look at something like Live as well for streamers, so that you could have another camera? In in Pixel Ripped, so we could actually have the streamer in the middle and the extra insane. overlay. Yeah, we're, we're actually really friends with uh, with the the people at Live, and we are, we were actually we actually talked about this. We did, just didn't have time to implement it yet. Uh, uh, yeah. But it's something that we might do, like do the the mixed reality thing. Yeah, but. OVR yeah, that camera, that camera, <laughs> <laughs> that camera. For we, months we you've talked uh, about this. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have to do I the. Told you so. He's been yeah, asking yeah. this one. <laughs> we we actually that camera we had that in that F10 and F11 that make you a better field of view. We did that for the trailer because we need to record the trailer and then. Uh, when we recorded the images were like too close and you couldn't see the Game Boy so as uh, Zed uh, we have this wizard he's like a Carmack guy <laughs> he works in Arbery with us and he he built this uh, he, he had programmed this camera and then we thought um, an AT and then was uh, asking like could you have like, a better field of view because and then some streamers like found really useful we sent to them this uh, let's just use what we've done like we've done for the trailer but it's really useful to record any videos, so we just share yeah. with the community. The same, but... same for me. Yeah. I had awesome. to. I read, I read that and was sort of like, oh yeah, I, okay, we do the F10, and I didn't realize actually that also it's really weird. Uh, you guys, only the PSVR side, you didn't have the same thing, but whenever you pulled your your uh, game, uh, uh, well, I keep on calling it Game Boy, but um, whenever you pulled the yeah. game up. There was a screen in the separate side that would actually display as well. So yeah, whenever you yeah. put the game out of our view and you can't see it, your audience can't see it. And that's like really, really awesome. I love that. Yeah, this is uh, because we have in the game, the, we already programmed that <laughs> we know when the player is looking to the Game Boy or not. So we just use that hug. to check. And then we activate this camera straight from the game camera because we oh, have yeah. that camera in the game, in the other game. <laughs> so the other game yeah, has the, a camera, and we just and the, the, the interesting and, and the interesting thing is the the picture in picture idea, like the, the this little picture in picture. It came when we were discussing the having a, um, a mixed reality because we said if we put mixed reality and we like show the person from the outside, how are the viewers gonna see? like oh, yeah. the game right yeah, yeah, and because yeah, yeah. the game is in the game yeah. but uh, we, we still didn't implement the mixed reality but the, the picture in picture is there but mixed reality would look very strange because i don't know if any of you guys like um yeah i don't know if any of you guys like awesome. walked around yeah it would it would look awesome but because the scale is is different so because you're a little nine-year-old girl right so like the <laughs> the gear kid in your hand would look like a huge Seven. thing right in your head yeah <laughs> and, and uh but we, we, we still want to try it and the and the other funny thing is we'd, we'd have to disable the avatar of the little girl's body i don't know if, how many of you like guys like walked around but it, the, the avatar doesn't have a head Right, and that yeah. led to some funny that led to some funny streamer awesome. streamer moments. Like um, there are a bunch of streams where the streamers like go, and then he like looks around and goes ah! and then starts screaming because it's a headless child. <laughs> awesome. There's a, well, a may, strange may thing actually. I think we look brilliant, but, right? Maybe it'll be so weird. Be yeah, crazy. yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> One of the things yeah, I did yeah, find really was... check the eyes. Like, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Right, awesome, I, I, Anna. I've got to thank camera you camera. ever so much yeah. for coming on the PSVR chat show. We're gonna have to give it a wrap there, but thank you very much for coming on, thank and so thank much. you, Rick. Thank you so much. For... Thank you. Awesome. I believe you've got a giveaway going Yay. on Twitter. Is that, that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget to upload the, yeah. uh, pizza, pizza. the picture. Oh, there's pizza? Pizza? Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're ordering pizza. Oh, pizza. Oh, that's, I've never seen pizza here. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Pizza, pizza, no, pizza, you pizza. Game pizza. Boy. Pizza. 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 You take a pizza. 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 Coming here tonight or tomorrow. Uh, again, thanks for stopping by, guys, and I'll catch you guys on my next video.